Hello everybody, my name is Richie and I'm making this video especially for the folks at or on uh, Growing Up in Rockford, the Facebook group. Anyways, hang out with me for a little bit. I'm currently in Mexico right now. This is not Rockford and you'll probably immediately tell that this is not Rockford because ooh, the church bells are ringing. Downtown church bells are ringing, that's pretty cool. Uh, because we have mountains here. So I'm in Mexico, in the state of San Luis Potosi, and I've been down here for about 14 months now. My mom almost passed away uh, last year, and so I came down here from Rockford, and I've been here ever since, making sure that she's uh, well taken care of. Uh, she's 91, she's doing great, so um, she's pretty hard. I mean, hardcore woman, pretty, pretty strong. And you know, there's a lot of people out there that are, are hardcore. I mean, you're, you're saying to yourself, 90, 91, ah, oh, man, I still kick ass, you know, and hey, good for you. You're the ones that built Rockford, right? Anyways, I wanted to make this video to, to thank everybody in the group for welcoming me and for, you know, sharing, you know, information and historic stuff about Rockford and your posts and your memes. And also, I wanted to, you know, while I'm here in Mexico, I miss Rockford. I really, really do. And a lot of you folks out there are probably, you may be somewhere else and you're like, yeah, I, I miss Rockford too, you know. Rockford is a good little, a little. It's a good town. It's, I think what may, well, it's you know Rockford is buildings, buildings and ground and earth. That's all it is. What makes Rockford a good community? Why I miss it is because of the people. I have really good friends, really good neighbors. Uh, I've met some really uh, friendly people. I've met people at the library, at pe places that I eat, places that I'm walking, on social media, at the businesses, uh, healthcare providers. Uh, I still maintain a lot of friends. That wasn't a gunshot and that wasn't an uh, artillery shell. That, <laughs> For some reason or another, I don't know why, the church here sets off uh, fireworks out of the blue. Now, trust me, if you have PTSD, you don't want to be here because they, sent, they set off fireworks like all the time and you really don't know when they're going to set them off. Uh, I'm a veteran, see? Veteran, 4th uh, Squadron, 7th Cavalry, 3rd Armored Division, Desert Storm Veteran. Um, and fortunately, I don't have PTSD. Uh, but for those folks that do, you know, my heart goes out to you because it can get really, it's freaky. It's, it's scary. Um, but here in Mexico, while I'm here in Mexico, I wanted to, to make this video to thank you guys for welcoming me to the group and to share some of the things that I miss. And some of the things that I miss, like I, I, I already said, I miss my friends, I miss my neighbors, I miss my home. I love my 1925 bungalow it's not real it's not a true bungalow but it, i call it a bungalow with a with a wooden porch out front where i can sit out and hang out with my friends um i miss little restaurant eateries such as the uh, stockholm inn where i have my swedish pancakes with the lingonberry topping on it and a nice cup of coffee and some scrambled eggs i i have lunch there a lot too actually that's probably the, the meal that i have most there you know when i just want to you know meet somebody or hang out with friends or something like that that's where we go stockholm inn uh, miss kayaking on the Kishwaukee. I used to kayak a lot uh, in the Rockford area. I did all the rivers, the Kishwaukee, the Rock, uh, a lot of little streams that I don't even know the names of, Pecatonica, which was a favorite. Um, miss the storms out there. See, we have clouds here. We had an electric storm last night that really reminded me of, of Rockford because it was scary. It really did sound, it was probably one of the most intense uh, lightning storms that I had witnessed in and forever actually it was pretty intense it was a lot of lightning little rain a lot of lightning and a lot of thunder and i did i did videotape it so i, I captured some pretty good some pretty good uh footage but uh I, I miss the the contrast in the in the midwestern sky this is not common this is uh, i i've been here 14 months and i haven't seen something like this uh in that whole time we get a little little bit of rainstorms not very much very little rain here it's like um well, it's like the Southwest, like Southern California, uh, but I'm in Mexico. Uh, livestock, so there's the cows here, you know, Wisconsin, we see that in the cornfields. Different type of corn here, way different. I mean, this is like ancient corn. This type of corn is really, can grow in like rocks almost. I mean, yeah, it'll grow in rocks and stuff like that. It's ancient corn. Uh, they grow uh, sorghum here, corn, beans. Uh, garbanzos, lentils, stuff like that. But mostly in these fields here, there goes the, another fireworks over there. Uh, mostly here in these fields, it's corn and sorghum for the cattle and for, for feed and for human consumption too. Um, 
Miss my friends, you know. Did I mention that I worked at Miller Eye Center? My friends from Miller Eye Center, some of my longest friends in, in Rockford. I miss my friends, also long-term friends from um, Eye Specialists of Rockford. So hello to all of you if you're out there or you say, hey, I work there now, you know. Did you work there? Well, I did work there. Uh, Miller Eye Center, uh, Eye Specialists of Rockford, Gunite. Love, love, love Gunite. And for all you folks that have parents that have worked at Gunite, brothers, sisters, or you're currently at, at Gunite, hats off to you. Well, hats off to you. Because manufacturing is what makes Rockford, Rockford. I mean, Rockford wouldn't exist if it weren't for manufacturing. And Gunite is one of the oldest companies in Rockford in existence. And I'm, I, uh, I currently met somebody from, uh, from Gunite, who works at Gunite, through social media. And, uh, well, I tip my hat to you, too. Um, I was a medic there. You know, I was a medic when I was in the military. So I worked as a medic at, at Gunite. And I, I really enjoyed taking care of the guys and, and the women there, the, you know, the workers there. Uh, I felt very satisfied taking care of their burns, you know, the metal in their eyes, or if they hacked off a finger or something like that. That was a very satisfying job, and I and I still like taking care of folks like that. You know, my neighbors were all uh, nurses or medical people or uh, or veterans, so it's just something that we like to do. And so that's one of the reasons that I, I made this video because that's who I am. I I reach out to people, I say hello to people, I greet them on the street, uh, and uh, I like I like making new friends. You know, I'm I'm a little bit shy, introverted sometimes, uh, and I like my own space. But I like to, to, you know, to share time with people, you know, and uh, and I've always, like I said, I've always uh, appreciated Rockford and the community there. Um, what else do I miss about Rockford? Mississippi Park. I miss some of the restaurants. I think I'd love to go to um, the Irish Rose for a meal. Uh, I miss um, Sahara. Sahara is a Mediterranean restaurant right next to Valley. Oh, I miss Valley. I love Valley. Now, we have a really good market here. So I, every day I get my fresh vegetables, you know, carrots, broccoli, uh, cabbage, uh, you know, beans, corn, whatever. I get that almost every single day, squash, all that stuff. But I love Valley. I mean, Valley is one of my favorite places to shop with, shop, shop at. And uh, Sahara, love, love their hummus. I love their, uh, their sandwiches there, their pita bread. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, I even miss Sam's Pizza. Now, the, uh, wait a second. Am I? Is that correct? Is it the Sam's on Charles Street? That little restaurant, on Charles Street. I think it's Charles and 18th Street. Uh, miss that little restaurant. I think I like that restaurant because it's a neighborhood joint. Uh, and my first home was right, you know, a couple blocks from that. Uh, I miss, you know, all those small businesses. You know, uh, anybody that's an entrepreneur that's out there, you know, trying to make a living in Rockford. You know, you're my favorite. You're absolutely my favorite. I love supporting small businesses. And if you're a farmer or an organic grower or any of those folks out there that are doing and making things uh, for Rockford, um, you know, you're the folks that I want to buy from. I don't want to buy from the big comp corporations or the big companies. I want to support small businesses because that's, that's uh, I don't know, I, I'm an entrepreneur. You know, I designed this, is, I designed this shirt right here. This is my design. And a lot of my veteran friends purchase this. And I design Rockford shirts and I design just about anything. I mean, I, I could look at anything. That cow. I'll design a cow shirt tonight, okay? Out of the blue, I'll design a cow shirt, okay? Um, I love entrepreneurs. Anyways, I'm going to head over to the cemetery over here. My, my grandfather's buried well, probably about, a, about, a, about a 50, about 50 yards away from here. And... Uh, you know, I, I like the I like the cemeteries here. They're really beautiful. They're peaceful. Nobody bothers me here. I can sit on a bench and just chill out, talk to the cows if I want to, I talk, make videos like this. You know. Anyways, folks, um, there's a whole lot more that I want to share about Rockford. I miss I miss Rockford very much. Uh, you know, when I say that, I lose my my track of thought and my and my. And my, I just, it's hard for me because I've been away from so long. From, I've been away from home for so long and I miss a lot of folks out there. And I think, you know, this past year has been, been a challenge. It's been a challenge for a lot of people. And, uh, well, I hope we continue to take care of each other, folks. I hope we continue to be friendly to each other and think about 
uh, community a lot. Our community is really important what we do. You know, volunteer, clean up our community, take care of each other, take care of our older people, take care of our veterans, take care of our young people, you know, instill, you know, um, good thinking, good, good practices, and, uh, and ask a lot of questions, you know, and observe, because we don't know everything, you know. Um, we all live differently, and I've learned so much here. You know, there's, there's three older women there walking. I don't know if you can see them back over there. But just to sit down and talk with the older people, my mom, who's 91, I learned so much from her just every day listening to her. Um, it's really interesting. It's really interesting living on this big dough ball, interacting with everybody. And uh, anyways, uh, I, I think this video is getting kind of long, way too long. But uh, I send out a nice, um, some salutations to all of you. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.